Welcome to Donut and Chill Save the World. The best part of the State of Decay world is the cool survivors we find along the way. The same is true in life. Getting to know you is my favorite part of it all. You will help decide who to recruit, what skill upgrades to choose, and guide the community's decisions. There may even be a few events along the way where you are invited to join me in game. Also, each episode I'll ask a fun question and I'll read your responses in the following episode because the best part of surviving in this world is getting to know the wonderful people in it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video makes your day just a little bit better than it was. Now, let's go save the world. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to Donut and Chills Save the World. We're really enjoying this game. State of Decay 2 has been out a while, but we still love it. And I love the characters. We're going to look for some new survivors today we want to add to our community. We have Donut and we have Chills, super cool survivors. He was a security guard. He calls everybody Buddy or Sport or Champ. He avoids first name. I think it means his own, but we like to make our own stuff. And um, we got uh, Chills, and there she is. You guys said it. We're going powerhouse. You helped me make all the decisions. I'm looking forward to plowing through some Z's. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I love it. So um, today we want to go meet these guys. Hopefully they have a cool character name like Beef Jerky or Sasquatch. Um, and then we'll see. I don't know about this Warlord's Weapons for All. I'm not really that excited about that. Maybe we go knock out a heart and um, keep on looting. Need to keep on building up our community. Let's see how our base is doing. Five and we're at minus two. That's not good. We should get another outpost. Six and we're at minus two meds. We should get another outpost. Um, we could maybe consider upgrading some of that stuff soon. Uh, but let's go meet these guys because, like I said, my favorite part is meeting the survivors. Finding cool survivors. We're gonna need more than two because one of our rules, our only rule in this series really is the first siege infestation we won't touch. We will let it come besiege us. Do this every time at this house. Please. Turn too soon. Question of the day. I'll read it in the next episode. You could have a little bug out cabin. Not necessarily in the apocalypse, but in real life. Factoring in where you live right now, uh, how far it would take you to get there, all that stuff, where would you want your little cabin? For me, I would ideally want it in the Pacific Northwest, like up in Washington State, because I love the rain. I love the evergreen trees up there. However, I'm in Southern California. It's kind of a long way to go to bug out. You know, it'd be, I've done the drive um, almost 20 times, and it's a 22-hour drive. Uh, and I've done it all in one shot just to brag about it, just just for this moment right now. So I think I would say maybe up in like Big Bear, California, because that's a lot closer. I could get there in a couple hours. So that's where I'd probably go. I love it up there, too. One of our Mike, partners reported seeing eight Blackhawks flying over downtown Robert Memphis. Grace. Keep your eyes open, people. Black Nobody I'm that excited in about. Neighborhood. A never a good sign. Never a good sign. Uh, we might buy this. We could buy these. Um, I do like buying rucks, especially in these. New buddy. What's new buddy? <laughs> That's new buddy. Buddy. I don't know. You call girls buddy? Like, hey buddy. I don't know. Um, did I welcome them? Let's see what you okay. got. Okay. All right. Uh, oh hey. Oh hey. Come on in if you want. Come on in. They're friendly. I'll give them that. But no one really exciting to recruit there. Kind of a shame. Uh, we'll keep our eye open for. Uh, what do you call it? Mysterious broadcast, survivors in trouble. We want to go help them, potentially recruit them, and ramp up our influence. See, so yeah, I think I'd want a little bug out cabin, just a little cabin, you know, 700 square feet, 500 square feet. I think I would say Big Bear, that area. I don't even know the area. Look it up, it's a cool little town. I don't know, it's nice up there. Nice tall pine trees. It's cool where I'm at. It gets very hot in the summer. We're talking over 120 Fahrenheit routinely in the summer. It's like an oven outside. So yeah, where would you want to be? Man, I really want to get a third survivor soon. Get a fourth and consider taking this base over here where we're headed. The base that I thought we were based up in last episode when I went there. Um, it's kind of funny, but let's just keep plugging away at these hearts. We'll keep looting about, maybe set, um, set up an outpost over here, knowing that we're probably coming over to this base. This base only has one large slot though, but that's okay. So oh, we just got sleepy. All right. Well, let's put in some work. 
and then get her some rest and go back to our guy Donut. All right, see, we already knocked out this heart. Maybe we knock out this one. Yeah, breathing through your nose does not help. <laughs> oh, this heart. This heart can be kind of a pain. I thought daylight was coming. And we only got three energy drinks. We should be able to do it, but... We got the powerhouse now. Ah, crap. Dang it. Dang it. I like kills. She's a kill. Aw! Dang it! Real dang it. Wasting time. Oh, there's an ambulance there. That usually has some good stuff in the back. We got an ambulance and a police car. That's what I forgot. Oh, man. When's the last time you forgot your wallet or your cell phone? You ever forget your cell phone? And then saying, oh, I forgot my cell phone. I'll text my wife and let her know I forgot my cell phone. Oh, dang, I don't have my cell phone. Yeah, so we... Heard that. We ripped through one. Just like that. Let's see if we take a peek in here. Ooh, good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, let's do the second one. Early game, we it is lethal zone, but we don't have any, like... Heroes in our community yet, so there's not a ton of free. It's but in bad shape. Gotta keep that. There will be that powerhouse. Is nice, isn't it? The powerhouse is nice. Dude, this girl's about to take a nap time. I love a nap. I'm a master at naps. That's how I do it. A lot of these are recorded very early in the morning, but I can take. No more of that. Okay, dodge. Dodge. I didn't bring fire or anything. I'll tell you about my naps in a minute. It's really not a good time right now. Okay, this one's down. Nice. What a relief. This is a great hey, place I to really live. I really like taking back territory from the Z's. Heck yeah. Shout out to Phil, aka Gior, getting back in the game. My pal from way back. Okay. Well, maybe we set this as an outpost over here. Oh, I hear something nasty, McBlasty. Dang it. I have to run away. I don't have the firepower to deal with him. Pretty cool. Ah, dang it. Run him a little further. Waking up the neighborhood. This could backfire. Potentially. How about we go up here and see what's up here? I did want to swap her out. Man, the energy drink lasting a while in my system there. Yeah, I don't know if I'm be able to loot over here either. We're not getting those, um... I gotta gas up, too. I think I noticed. Oh, and a heart. Okay. I need a break. I don't have the nerve to steal. Not a chance. This is gonna turn into a whole thing here, I can tell. Gotta gas this up. Get out. Okay. All right, maybe, maybe now. Maybe now. That heart is still asleep. I'm killing lots of zombies and making a ton of noise. There we go. I don't have the stims and, and I don't have the uh, stamina to go out this heart. I was just gonna loot over here, but I'm thinking not. Come on, give me, give me some good survivor in need. Let's go. Three episodes in, I want to meet someone cool. I do like this car. Yeah, that's probably far enough. 
Maybe. Yeah, I don't think he'll make it down here. Okay, we want to set up a nice chill outpost. We chill. For sure. Let's get our um, sword back. The sword, is, the sword is so cool. That's my favorite sword in the game. I like it better than the red talon sword. Echo One Wraith. And they're giving it to us like straight away now with that drop. That, I got it from that supply drop for no reason. There's bound to be better places down the road. I didn't even have to earn it. Should take out some bounties too. That could be fun. No more Z's in here. And I'm gonna need a 50 cal when I, when the game starts ramping up. The outpost is okay. prepped. Oh yeah. But oh, if you yeah. ask me, a little more effort here um, could really pay off. Let's give her uh, this big daddy gun here and put her on base. Base protection duties, and we'll swap out to our guy Donut. So here we go, Chills Powerhouse. Boom, that's huge. All right, Donut, let's see what you got, pal. He's got the shoddy, but uh, I like the the 45 better for now. So let's get the 45 out. Let's give him this. I will give him these and put back these. All right, let's uh, see if we can loot next door. Freak spotted. Okay. All right, good. That expired. Give me a different one. Nice. I hadn't even been in here yet. Sweet. Sweet. Stims. Big time. The army issue. Heck yeah. Let's put that on. My back's already killing me. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. That's a little bit much. Okay. You just logged in, pal. It's all out of breath. Alright, let's see. <laughs> we can keep that. This, 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 this. Um, that. Put these away. Alright. Dude, that's a cool backpack, man. Dude, he's looking good. Let's finish looting this. What kind of freak am I dealing with? You're really looking forward to meeting someone cool. Sweet. Oh, that's some good stuff. Good, good trade value in that. Yeah, man. Hey, uh, yesterday. My back's already killing me. Yesterday, the wife and I dropped our kids off at different events they had going on. And then we had, like, all right, hey, what do you want to do? Like, it's nighttime. We should go on a date, but no one's hung. Neither of us were hungry. We should get coffee, but we already had coffee. And she says, I thought I had a ruck. She says, well, we could just go home and you could play video games. That's a cool lady right there. But I'm a cool guy. And I was like, did I want to do that? Yes. Yes. I was like, well, I mean, what else What else can we do? Like, she's like, or, you know, I've been wanting to get a new book. <sighs> well, it's across town to the mall. Where there's the bookstore. And uh, I'm, at a, I'm at a crossing roads in my life. I'm at a pivotal point in the day. She has offered. We could go home and you could play your video Boy, games. Said. And she means that. She wouldn't be upset. Sometimes I get the feeling she wants me to be distracted. You ever get that feeling? But when she said, you know, well, she didn't. She hesitated to say it because the mall is like we're in. You don't know the area, but we're in North Indio, and we gotta go all the way back to Palm Desert. It's a ways. Beautiful place. My back's already killing me. And um, I said, no. You know what? Let's let's let me take you to the mall, and let's go to the bookstore and pick you a book. You can pick out a book. And she's like, really? So she was playing it cool. So I passed the test, guys. Like, she floated the video game out there. Like, yeah, you could go play your game. And then it went full circle. I'm going to just equip this heavy weapon. I got home, and she read her book, and I played my video game. So, win-win. It's like delayed gratification. Show a little patience. Show a little patience. Good things will happen. I'm going to keep the screwdriver just to annoy you. <laughs> I don't know how many of you are actually annoyed at that. I don't know. I don't know. 
Still, no one on the board. Maybe if I can't, can I promote a leader yet? I don't think I can. Nope. He's got to be close, though. Let's, uh, I think he's, he's getting close. Um, let's see, what is his leader type? I forget where it says. It's one of these. Hero bonus. Oh, Warlord. I'm not a fan of the Warlord, but we'll kind of assign a leader. She's close, too. She's a Warlord. All right. Uh, we could take a trip to the Bounty Broker. You know, let's go bang, boom. Let's do that. No, let's go boom, bang, because some of these might get influenced by that, right? Let me get some fire. Yeah, so I like to get one survivor who's got powerhouse, um, you know, plague heart killer. Do I have any fire? Okay. And then I like to get one who's got like backpacking and sewing. I have a hard time resisting sewing. If there's a, if there's a trader who's got the sewing book, I'll pass up lichenology, fishing, recycling. I don't want to stick up, around here for very long. I'll pass up some good stuff to get that sewing. Plus ten health for every member of your community, and I think your whole community gets um, extra stackability. The whole community, like you can stack one extra everything. So it's awesome. It's really good. Now let's take out some bounties. We want that 50 cal. I kind of hope I haven't done the bounties on this profile because I want to do them again. I don't want them to be done. It doesn't sound good. Greetings. Nothing ventured, Where's that 50 yes, cal? Where's that 50 cal? Where's that 50? Give me that 50. Be careful. Okay, what do I got to do? I didn't even look. Freaks killed with rifles. Okay. Well, that's going to be a problem because... I cannot keep this up. I think I only have assault. I don't think I have rifles. Hello. Nothing ventured, as they uh, say. Is this a rifle? What do I gotta do to get this? Kill one juggernaut with rifles again. I don't have a rifle. This is assault. This that we can get that though. Easy, That's solid. But I have faith in you. Thank you. Um is this a rifle? This is a rifle. Echo two. Kill three scream right off a crossbow. Kill four ferals with shotguns. That's a cool gun. Collect four Every materials. moment is a fresh beginning. Dude, this guy is a treasure trove of wisdom here. Absolute treasure trove. He is a living, walking, breathing fortune cookie. Speaking of that, here's a fun one for next episode. And I look forward to reading all of your um, pickup lines from last episode. Um, here's a fun one. Give me a fortune cookie. Make one up. What would you put in a fortune cookie? Or maybe it's something you heard that you just think is good or funny. I know a guy who once told me a great bit of wisdom. Never play leapfrog with a unicorn. Don't know how it applies to life, but it was funny. And we are back, and I have my heavy weapon. Uh, I'm gonna collect these materials first, just so, that, so it's done. As long There's as this two is of them right here. This place ain't never gonna feel safe. Right here? Oh, it's in here. Okay. There's two guaranteed every time. Shit is heavy. In this We're traveling so heavy. It's alright. It's good for our cardio. I don't know that it is. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna get the other ruck. That should be enough to get that. Um, bounty for materials collected. Kill a plague. I gotta make sure I kill this heart with the heavy weapon. If I shoot it at the last second, Fuck, my eyes are burning. That would be so dumb. Uh, with any luck, we'll get this done in one stim bottle, but it might be two because we're a powerhouse. But uninterrupted. Nice. Oh, I was seeing if I was traveling heavy. Because if I was traveling heavy, I would have just grabbed that ruck and just been heavy. Okay, I don't want to search. Fuck yeah, it's hurting! Don't let up! Yeah, that'll actually do damage to the heart, too. That was the last one. I don't know if that one reached it or not. But it's fun to see them all get knocked down. Oh, yeah, that 
That means we'll see a lot less plague zombies around here. One hero currently available to promote. You know what? I was going to say outpost it up, but... Uh, wow, it's so chill here. Dang. Okay, what was I going to do? I was going to do something. Something important. What was it? Oh, I was going to see if we can upgrade this. Dude. No brainer. No brainer. I want to go get that other ruck. Because then we can get a third outpost going. When that's upgraded. Non-compliant SKS. Yeah, that's definitely one of the better bounty weapons. Well, looks like we got an infestation on our hands. One-armed zombie like my grandpa Andrew. Told ya. If you follow this channel, my grandpa lost a leg. One-legged man. Awesome fella. His dad lost his arm. And his dad... No room for that. Lost a foot. Life is rough sometimes. There we are packed. Let's get home. Oh, I should have grabbed the samples. Stack them up. I'm so beat. This guy's breathing is so funny. All right, cool. I love the army issue backpack we got. All right, y'all on the drive back. I'm going to um, read your comments from last episode. And uh, it's been great, man. Making progress. Killing the hearts faster than anticipated. Yeah. Donut. Um, however, we're not meeting the, as many cool people as I'd like. So, anyway. Let's get into your comments from last episode. Give me your fortune cookie um, stuff. And, uh... See what's my job. Oh, it's snack. Okay. Yeah, give me your fortune cookies and uh, where your bug out cabin would be. All right. Enjoy. All right. Let's take a minute and read your comments from last episode. Make sure you get your comments for this episode if you haven't already. Clown outcome. says, pranking and but insulting each other was nearly my whole childhood. <laughs> right? I can identify with that now. Let's do your it. example, though, is crazy. You said, I'm shot a fellow student in the face with a fire extinguisher. It was that probably the worst it got. Zombies. Couldn't breathe for a couple seconds. Control this town? Okay, so I've never and gone that well far, and I hope it was your buddy. Too. And you guys were just clowning around, and I'm glad everybody was okay. But, yeah, pranking and insulting. Uh, I still kind of do that, and I'm in my 40s. Bob Cadaver, I grew up in the country, so we did a lot of fishing, right? Riding our BMX bikes and shooting everything in sight with our BB guns. Might Heck yeah, Bob, for, for sure. I had a BB gun. Loved it. Almost shot my brother's eye out like the Christmas story. Uh, Les, we in the day would go out on our bikes and each neighborhood would have like a gang of people riding around. There was a group uh, and there was a leader and had a haircut like a molly mop and they would chase us out of the estate and we would try our best to knock them off our bikes. We were like ninjas. We had the old floppy head mo molly mop haircut. Yep. Um, bicycle gangs defending their neighborhood. And I assume there's like no real like, you know, like hard drama and hateful feelings towards each other or anything like that. It's just all in good fun. You think, well, those are our enemies, but really y'all just having fun. Okay. Uh, White Rose, love this interaction. Less. If you, oh, here's a pickup line. That okay, pickup line number one. If you were a transformer, you'd be Optimus Fine. <laughs> Try it out, guys. Try it out today. Uh, my kid said, "Are you a Minecraft fence?" Because I can't get over you. There's another good one. Um, Priscilla says, "LOL, that's a dad joke." That pickup line, palm tree. Yep, you got it. Let's see, Patrick. Cute, a real dad line. <laughs> Lisa says powerhouse for sure. Yep, we chose powerhouse. Grandma says powerhouse, yeah. A great episode as always. Chills definitely needs to go powerhouse. I wish I was able to join you just once to test my metal in lethal difficulty, but the time difference is too big. I've never gone beyond dread, so I'd probably slow you down anyway. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, or die in some epic death. Hey, either way, we're entertaining, right, guys? Grandma says, looking forward to the next episode. This is a cool series. If you're welcome to join me, it's easy to set games up before on Discord. I have a lot of flexibility in my schedule, so I certainly can work something out with you. Like 100%. Game if you want. And maybe
maybe we do one with a full four four group of players so that you know you can kind of be insulated if you've never played lethal zone um, Scylla says definitely powerhouse Bob says powerhouse Crown says you could have stacked the 45 ammo yeah I missed that one Space up though. Patrick says powerhouse it was unanimous Patrick I'm making these so sweet to match oh okay okay I think this is a pickup line. I'm making these so sweet to match how sweet you are. What are we making? But I like the effort. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing something. Rob said loads of people uh, used to come to Cornwall in the summer for their holiday. So my cute little crew would head into the main town in the area called Nuquay, a place full of bars where you could drink outside. We'd spot a table of chicks and start chatting them up. And there would always be one with the I've got a boyfriend line. So I'd say, I've got a physics test. And she would go, you what? Or something similar to that. And then I'd throw the line, well, that's something we both, could, well, that's something we both could cheat on. <laughs> okay, I've got a boyfriend, I've got a physics test. Okay, so I guess we both have something we can cheat on. I get it, <laughs> that's the line, that's the attitude of it, awesome. Uh, let's see, I won't take credit for it because it's actually my physics teacher who gave it to me. Powerhouse, of course. And we got one more that got in on time. Where'd it go? Ghetto Sounds had one. Uh, I know it's here somewhere. I don't know where it went. Can't find it, but Ghetto Sounds, they used to play a funny game. In, oh, here it is. Uh, in the neighborhood. I guess the game was called Catch a Girl, Kiss a Girl. I don't know if that would fly anymore, but uh, boys would chase the girls around the neighborhood. If they caught them, they had to kiss you. I never knew that girls could run so fast. <laughs> oh man, I, I doubt anyone actually got caught and had to give the kiss, but um, he's Ghetto Sound says, after 20 minutes of running, we gave up and the girls, uh, we left the girls hiding and we went to my buddy's house and played Mike Tyson punch out. That's <laughs> such a way I chase the girls, catch a girl, kiss a girl. I'm kind of tired. Let's go play Mike Tyson's punch out, which was a classic game. If you beat that game, you gotta let me know in the comments. If you could not beat uh, Mike Tyson, also let me know in the comments. I did beat it, but time. more times, I think I only beat it once. I like to think I beat it. Maybe I didn't. Tyson was a brutal man. You get two punches and you're knocked out. And then after that's one punch and you're knocked out. It was brutal. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, we're going to keep ge these episodes coming. This ep this week is busy with live streams, so I don't know if we'll get another episode in this week. I'll try, uh, but you guys are the best.